Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover and thank you for joining me here in the Thousand Week Crack, in which we're playing as the UK. Now, I've done the UK before, I've played as them and they were a lot of fun, but I want to go down a certain pathway to get a certain mustached man just, just to see what his content is like, but we must begin with what? The British Army? Mm, the British Army? Do we talk about the British Army in the Thousand Week Crack? Yes we do. Uh, the British Army's land branch of the armed forces. Due to this, it's important that we look carefully into this branch, which is great. Also, I guess I started off with uh, one event, but I've, I've already played as UK before. I should have shown you the event. But a lot of these, like this one in particular, if you'd like to read through the events, because I've done it before as well, uh, go ahead and read it if you like. But I'm, I'm not going to read it except say, still the capital of the world in spirit. Yes, London, London, London right now. And we're all out of fuel. Very British. Yes, yes, we need to port more stuff here. Yes, very good. Sarawak. Oh, they must be a puppet. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, you want to shoot your volume compactor some boosting ingredients? Um, you know what? That's okay. That's okay, because I, I want to be training our Navy. I want to train our Air Force. We only need uh, 11,500 of things of fuel every single day. We only get a, a literally a, less than a tenth of that, but that's okay. Uh, the Cairo Fire, if you like to know about that, please go ahead. Issue a strong protest. Oh! Cairo Fire, no thank you. No thank you. But, that's some dude. And, actually, let's take a look over here. And look at our GDP. Number one for the Americans. Number two for those dastardly German folks. And we're third for now. We're probably not going to hold on to that, because China's looking pretty darn good. Um, can we actually send volunteers? I'd love to send volunteers. Also, like, every, almost pretty much every single campaign. If you're worried about that, please go ahead. Um, I did not set up any special rules here. So, whatever happens, happens. Hungary denounces German agents. Interesting. I have, I have played Hungary once. The king is dead. Britain mourns. F in the chat. Or in the comment section. Death of King George VI. The king is dead. Long live the queen. Big mama queen. Cool. And passing event. The Duke of Windsor resigns. Meddling in politics. How unregal. Oh boy. And we'll have to begin a recovery eventually. But that will happen eventually. I do want to get to the elections just because... Mr. Mustache needs some time. And Britain awake. Death of Rollis. Germany tests an atomic kaboom. Oh, well, that's cool. Good, good job, Germany. Authority demands self-rule. Oh, it appears that the exchanges we've made with Dakar begin to erode. Exiles and natives of the French authority, our informal puppet, ma puppet masters of puppet government in West Africa, are demanding a greater measure of self-rule. They call for free elections within the authority to allow democratic governments to be formed rather in the place of an increasingly brutal and unstable colonial regime. They argue that decolonization is inevitable and the British should do the noble act of, fall, of allowing French Africa to decide its own future for their own people. Um, I need to play French Africa sometime. I'm not really interested in it, but I really should play them sometimes. Do they have a unique focus? Yes. Yes. Shut down elections. Uh, pretend that we support them. Grant them democracy. Mmm. The third w force victory. Oh, that seems kind of cool. Not sure if we can really do too much with these guys, but it's really just this page here. Limited democracy. Oh, I guess why not? We'll get PP out of it. We'll be nice for now. We want them to get democracy until we don't want democracy anymore. Oh, Spain is killing Morocco. The British Army, if you'd like to read about that, please go right ahead. We will return. Eventually. Oh, let's get some more land auction, too. Just because that's, that's really good for arm XP and land auction. Dunkirk. Told us one thing. We need to reform the armed forces. It's time to reevaluate our doctrine. Sounds great. Weapons development. Oh, yeah. We can get biological weapons, can't we? Wait, why is this... Um, yeah, there's the new Ordnung, the Toronto Accords. They're looking pretty... Oh, hello. Oh! Yeah, these guys are exercising. Oh, hello! The die a cast. So many things happen in Thousand Week Rake. So much, so much. Please, just kill them off. Oh, do we have a lot of PP here? Oh, we'd like to go to early mobilization. Anything here that's good? I've, yeah, Thousand Week Rake sucks, up on, sucks on your consumer goods. The first atomic bomb is ready. Operation Hurricane is finally complete! The first atomic weapon of British manufacture has been finished and delivered to Montebello for testing. Final preparations are being made for its detonation. Congratulations, scientists! Kaboom! British Patrol and BP, huh? We still buy BP casts nowadays. Is that a Thousand Week Reich reference? The gas station? Probably not. Quizzing wins. Oh, wow. Not surprising. Democrats in West Africa. A death of Barry. Man, this guy, he is a... He is a weirdo, man. Oh, boy. And which way did they go? Jacques? Which way did you go, my friend Jacques? They went Franco-African Confederation. Prime Minister calls general elections. Oh, boy. And so it begins. Oh, well. Ah. Uh, Confederation experimentation. 
the West African Federation disbanded the Confederation. Can, is it like a narco African French lands then? That'd be kind of cool. But anyways, I have played as McAtee. Wait, no, not McAtee. This is Atlee. No, there's no Mac there. That's Atlee. At, am I saying that wrong? At T L E E. I don't know. I, I always make I usually make fun of some people's names. Conan declared premier. Okay, interesting, interesting. I really want to know which way Germany's going to go down for this route. Um, you never know. Usually, the Toronto Accords does get involved and makes Germany go kind of kaboom. So, I guess we'll have to wait and see. We do have paratroopers. I don't think I'll actually use them, but you know what? We can research them. What do we have here? Combined operations? Probably want to go down that way. Probably. And let's grab early... Partial mobilization! <laughs> when we can, of course. And that'll give slightly more fuel. So now... That's not looking too good now, is it? <laughs> we can barely build anything anyways. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's grab a little more fuel then. Full. Yeah, that's not really worth it. Um, United Mexican say something really cool. Reich's come start. Calcus? Mm, let's help with the Soviets. Why not? Give us Uno. I think that'd be good enough for now. Not the Americans. Oh, the death of Sir Stafford Cripps. If you're wondering about that, please go ahead. Truly a sad day. New army doctrine. Oh, yes. Oh, but election time, that'll happen. When does that happen? Is it 50 later this year? Because I have gone down the Labour Party, I believe so. Hung Parliament. Need you. Mechanization, combined arms. We're, we're doing combined, ar combined arms, right? Yeah, we're doing combined arms. What is this one? Maximize the firepower? That'd be really nice. But mechanization focused. The future is one, is one of mechanization. Powerful tanks that will sweep the land and wipe our enemies off the planet. Cool. Oh, look at that army XP. That's really nice. Congo rebellion crushed, as it should be. Council of Sahara and Sadag declares great. Syria. That's kind of cool. Oh, how does. Oh. Former Prime Minister speaks out. May Day, bloody day? Okay. If you're arguing about that one, please go ahead. And this one too. A triumph of British engineering. Ah, the comet debut. The old Diplos. Diplos. Dipso maniac fool can blabber all he wants. Do you have a unique focus tree? How did Georgia break free of German rule? Kot Kimsha Shivili. Oh, I speak words so good. Man, I'm going crazy. Oh, that's, I've always thought that was really cool. Iraq and Jordan. That is so weird to see. But I guess c'est la vie. It is what it is. Um, actually, we're going to need another dude here then. By dude, I mean general. Um, Gerald Templar. There you go, my friend. There you go. Don't be too... Weird. Like me, but that's okay. Egyptian Revolution 52. Well, that's cool. Narayan elected. Well. Do you have a unique focus tree? I'd love to play as this group. They kind of do. Iraqi politics. Sectarian issues. Oh, boy. Claim Kuwait. Oh. Oh, that means we have to come down here too eventually, right? Construction Uno. Not bad. Uh, let's grab some excavation. And let's also grab some military construction. Oh, I do know we have to come here eventually. How about we do half of you guys and come over here? We'll probably end up going to war with Germany first, but it is what it is. Actually, since we do have some paratroopers, they're 10 combat with. They're not great. Oh, that well, that's a lot of support companies, though. Italy wins the EST. Very good job, Italy. Good job. Good job. I agree with opposition. Eh. Welfare reforms is okay. Meet with unions is not terrible. For 28 days, you get 0.2. Lose consumer goods, but you do get some more weekly stability. I do like that quite a bit. But I prefer to go to partial mobilization. But after mechanization focus, I would love... Oh, melee emergency. Oh, can we help him out? I hope we can help him out. We'll do improved royal armor divisions. No, we're going to go... We need you. We need you, an iconic line from Co Lord Kitchener's poster responsible for enlisting so many brave young men during the Great War. With a lack of new recruits since the Great War and a failure, Dunkirk. We need to begin a new recruitment campaign. If you like about Singapore, transferring to Singapore, please go ahead. Oh, decolonization is so sad. Oh, commit troops to Malaya? Yeah, why not? There you go. Oh, we can't send... Okay, we can't send volunteers. That's pretty nice. And they're fighting those guys. Oh, uh, we can send a single division. They have less than 1,000 manpower. Um, who do we want to send? Paratroopers? Mechanized? Infantry? What type of divisions are we making? 20 combat is not bad. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. I don't think sending tanks into the jungles would be a smart thing to do. So I will take you, senor, and we'll do this. And I'll send you under the wing of Kenneth Darling. Oh, what a darling chap. All right, thank you very much. How many planes can we send, please? Well, those are our planes right here. Uh, up to 20. That's not a lot. I'll be honest, that's not a lot. 
But we have them anyways. And no fuel. Alright, that group died. Detachable magazines are very good to have. 52, thank you. Ah, oh, oh, I almost clicked on that. Oh, no, the general election. Voting is closed across Britain. The votes are in. Many in pe Britain suspect that Attlee will restore his majority. How many believe otherwise? The Tories under Butler can make a snap comeback and begin undoing the reforms that Attlee presented. Some even believe that Mosley has used his post-armistice climate to his advantage and, and, and some um, pulled some wins. Nonetheless, the new elected government of the UK is this one. This one. This one. Well, realistically... I like a little bit of a union party. Wow, that's not really good for political power and stability. Oh, boy. Oh, oh my finger slipped. Oh, man, he's getting old. He was, He's pretty handsome when he's younger, man. The union wins the elections. A man once ostracized from the forefront of politics, so Oswald Mosley, has perhaps made the greatest political comeback in history. Mosley met the Queen earlier today, where he was asked to perform a government. Upon entering Downing Street, Mosley had formed the first union movement government in British history. Watching these events unfold, it's hard to believe the political journey of such a man. The first British premier since Lloyd George to be neither Labour nor Conservative. Now the task falls on him to bring the nation together in an ever-increasing period of uncertainty. Winning by one of the slimmest margins in history, even now as the government has been formed, there are disputes over the overall national vote. Nonetheless, this election will perhaps go down as the most dramatic in British history. Interesting. I almost said American history. But, oh, do we not have enough guns? We might not have enough. Oh, Jesus. Save our souls. Um, let's start making so many divisions then. Ah, that helps out. Oh! Kenneth Younger died? What happened to Kenneth Younger? Oh, oh, that, that's why. Ah, uh, Mosley, Mosley, Papa Mosley. Uprising in Sarawak. Britain awake. Arise from slumber! Reports have been coming in from our colonies in the Indies where the colony of Sarawak has rebelled against us, kicking out our governor and placing him back into power, the White Rajas. They have declared their independence away from the British Crown as a colony. Sarawak provided a chunk of our rubber and oil needs, although far smaller than those of British Malaya. Now the Parliament is at a standstill on whether we should intervene and get Sarawak back under control, or turn our focus on the more important tasks currently going on in Europe. Oh, Brunei? Oh, crap. Brunei. Um, get your old big old booty over there, man. Hopefully, we don't lose these guys. Oh, we have another division. Oh, that's good. Get over there, too. When do we get those divisions? British settler draftees. Okay, well, there you go. Um, who's good on defense? I want the best person in defense. Richard Hull is good on attack. But okay, we'll use him for defense. Pay off debt. Oh, boy. I don't like having a lot of debt. We definitely need some more fuel here. Oh, my. Oh, look at that. Nice. Ah, the boys are in Malaysia. I hear it's kind of hot here. Please do not be alarmed at the bombings. <laughs> it's only bombing for love. I swear. <laughs> we bomb them because we love them. Yes, that's what we tell each other. Ah, uh, air superiority is always nice to have. And we'll click on this very soon once we get down to day one, because I won't get those divisions up there. Unionist cabinet. With the union movement having won the election, it now falls on Prime Minister Mosley to organize a cabinet to form the core of the new government. Organize it, please. Oh, oh, oil is ter terminated. Oh, we have no more cities. Oh, that's not so nice. Three. Two, one. Protest against Mosley. What? Riots have broken across major cities due to the election of Oswald Mosley as Prime Minister. Police already dealing with the situation. Britain elected me. I shall lead rightfully. Don't pull an America in from Kaiserreich. Please, please, please. Oh, wait. Are we attacking? Oh, that's not good. Then again. Oh, we have, like, no organization. These guys do have quite a bit of organization, though. We should do okay here. Even if we don't win, it is what it is. Conservatives win in Korea. What are the concerns of, of uh, any focus tree? Yeah, I know, 2v2, one of us attacking with one of these guys not having a lot of organization, we're probably not going to win. That kind of sucks. Do we get a war goal against them then? Oh, crap, PRI. History repeats itself. It's only been a short time since Sir Oswald Mosley has been made Prime Minister. With all expected shock and controversy that has entailed, and the streets have only become more tense as left-wing activists and Jewish community leaders have regularly assembled in public squares to cry in the new government is tyrannical. But something is different today. The taste of the air, the attitudes of the average person on the streets, something is certainly brewing. Something the people of London would soon find out. What has started as an irregular demonstration in Trafal uh, Trafalgar Square swelled in size exponentially. Although the original organizers were members of the CPGB, regular citizens began joining and changing, changing, well, probably chanting slogans like Mosley, Mosley must go, and it shall not happen here. Police have been called on the scene to make sure this demonstration of freedom of assembly had not turned violent, but then the unthinkable happened. The protesters began moving towards the Palace of Westminster, demanding the Union government resign. 
I've just received word from Westminster Security, said Constable Thomas. We are not to disperse the crowd unless they have attempted to trespass. Thomas was new to the police force, having only graduated from the academy a month ago. Standing defiantly in front of the palace gates, he couldn't help but feel nervous. He was an eyewitness to the Battle of Cable Street as a young boy, and the experience of witnessing such violence firsthand had actually inspired him to join the police force. But now it looked like he was going to experience it all over again, this time. As a combatant, fortunately, the protesters had stopped just in front of him, and their numbers continued to grow. Then, out of nowhere, a truck filled with black shirts arrived, almost immediately. Violence broke out between the mob and black shirts. Here we go, Thomas said to himself. After hours of attempting to bring order to the violence just outside Britain's symbol of democracy, local news stations flirted with reports. Blood fills the streets outside Westminster, read one headline. Attempted anti-fascist push crushed, cries another. All in all, 87 arrested, 102 were sent to the hospital with serious injuries from the police batons and fists alike, and the tragically 10 lie dead. Coming home later that day, Thomas hangs his police cap on the dresser and changes out of his uniform. He had received multiple bruises and a bloody nose from the encounter, but at least what he did his duty to protect and serve the people. Or so he now told himself. But how can a man who beats the people to death claim to uphold democracy, he wrote in his diary. Did they pass this time? Well, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. I have no comment on that type of stuff. Uh, actually, could you? Uh, you're probably going to lose here. Uh, Mosley addresses the riots. The new Prime Minister had attempted to ignore the continuing national unrest for some time, perhaps hope, giving hope, or hoping that given time, the situation would improve itself, if left alone. However, under growing and enormous pressure, he finally made an address officially confronting the protests, beginning by condemning all political violence on all sides, even that of his black shirts. He went on to place most of the blame on the anti-government protesters, claiming that communists and other subversives were attacking democracy, and threatening them with the full force of the law should they continue to cause trouble. Unfortunately for those who support his government, his address has done little to calm the national mood, but Antifa are the real fascists, right? It depends on your, I guess, experience. I don't know, something like that. Uh, actually, you'd probably be doing better up here. That's it. Yeah, we're probably going to lose this. That kind of sucks. Ah, uh, they got more to the, the uh, militia throwing. Uh, would you like to join the fight again? You're looking pretty good, son. I'll be honest. You're looking pretty good. No? Okay, defeating Sarawak. Despite the best efforts of her men, they failed to defeat the rebellion of Sarawak, and many of the drafted men have dropped their arms, preferring to return home and die for a small colony. A small blow that stings. Hey, but still ours for now. Eh, it sucks we didn't get a boat, whatever. We'll work on our PP. China denounces Vietnam. That's pretty normal. Malay requests their support. Dispatch. Uh, I think I've already read this one before, so if you'd like to read this, please go right ahead. We've got some paratroopers. We will encourage... Send some words of encouragement. Send over equipment. Send our volunteers and equipment. Yes. Because we don't have any, but that's okay. That is totally, totally okay with us. Uh, artillery. Yes, please. Oh, my goodness. We need way more equipment here. I'd love to get more tanks, but we can't afford to do that right now. We need quite a few more guns, probably. Go up to two. That's fine. Yeah, we're missing quite a few things here. Actually, what are we doing? Occupation? Civilian oversight is nice. Uh, actually, that's not too bad. Brutal oppression. It's only oppression if they don't like it. Is that... Hmm. Yeah, just kind of hang out for now. Don't worry about it. Uh, we'll deal with it later on. At least we still own that. That's not too bad. Britain awake. And get slightly more population and repeal the Public Order Act. The Public Order Act was introduced in 1936 and prohibited paramilitaries and uniform militias, such as the BUF's black shirt. Now, we must decide. Shall we repeal this act so that we may resume black shirt activities, or will we keep it for the sake of maintaining stability? I honestly have no idea what's going to happen. Um, oh, the French African Confederation. Cool. Uh, yeah, the French authority succeeds. If you like to read about that, please go ahead. Oh, well. Hopefully this doesn't go too poorly for us. I hope it doesn't. Yeah, guys, that's, that's not smart to attack right now. Please. I mean, yeah, yeah, I get it. I attacked and just a group of people too, but still. Biochemical research. I'd love to do that, but we don't have the PP for that right now. Commit troops in Malaya? Oh, yeah. Here, here have 10,000 more. Revolution in Baghdad. Montreal massacre. Very cool, very cool. National debt. We need workshop of the world, so we'll wait to that. Dispatch arms? Oh, we have nothing. Oh, yes. A sound of Vietnamese conflict. Good luck, guys. Good luck. No, I'm gonna wish I sent tanks in here. Oh, the Greek Civil War. Um, sure. Yeah, we'll vote yes. The Barbary People's Republic is gone. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Guys, you're just too weak to do anything here. Please stop attacking. For the love of God, stop attacking. End of the Algerian War. You know what? Screw it. You know what? We're gonna do it like this. Oh, we have some carriers down here too. Send some ten in. Cut you guys. Oh, never mind. Go up there by ten more. This actually might give them a slight advantage over what they really need. Uh, I can't deploy yet because revolutions. Uh, yeah, I, I get it. It fails, of course. Cool military construction, of course. 
Anything here? Oh, well, synthetic resources. Britain doesn't have a lot of natural oil deposits, so we'll probably have to do that. But hey, maybe we'll get some art. Air XP here. Ethiopian uprising. It just seems like the world's falling apart. The Casablanca catastrophe. That's a twist. Very cool. Please, for the love of God, please stop attacking. <laughs> Einstein visits Israel. Hopefully he doesn't die down there. But question the bank. Sir Oswald Mosley has made it clear in his manifesto and campaign that he wants to nationalize the Bank of England. Well, this may be popular with the common man. This will surely alienate the elites. And, of course, Einstein died. Einstein, you weren't supposed to die down there. But Atis coup in Baghdad? Three coups? When two coups aren't enough, we need a coup again. Actually, for this group, just go ahead and do this one. That's fine. And we don't have enough fuel, but whatever. Uh, improved shells. Very nice. Support companies? Sure. Let's get some more of that stuff going. And for now, let's stop training these guys. Uh, two destroyers are pretty nice. We need the fuel for our plant, probably, so. And you guys are actually probably almost done, too, so. Excavation is very nice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, did I get research speed yet? I did not get decryption and stuff like that. Oh, my goodness. The West African transition. Concerning. Very concerning. The Public Order Act. Back in the day of the British Union of Fascists, the party had a paramilitary wing called the Black Shirts. The government soon placed a ban on political uniforms in the form of the Public Order Act. Mosley has long stated his intent to repeal this act to ensure that his black shirts rule the streets once more. This reform will focus or will deeply anger our opposition and will have massive repercussions. What shall we do? Repeal it? The choice and choices taken in events from the following focuses will affect whether Mosley can stay in power. Too much change could cause a very sudden change of leader. Keep it. Don't, it isn't worth risking it. Um. So, it seems like if we take too many radical steps, we get thrown out of power. So let's not take too many radical steps, but enough radical steps where people will really like it. <laughs> Uh, that sounds really good, but bad. Question of the Lords? Oh, God. Hmm. Let's maintain the abilities for now. It isn't worth the risk for now. Sir, so, uh... Yeah, I already know this one, so that's good. That's good. And then, of course, abolition of income tax. Income tax is one of the main sources of income for the government. However, Mosley believes that this that instead of taxing the people in this way, that they should be taxed depending on what they buy and sell. The question is, shall we implement this policy? Francisco, oh, goodbye, Franco. Have a good day. Or I guess not. Well, I guess you're dead now, but whatever. Um, I want to attack. I really do. But doing this is a little bit insane. We do have air superiority. They are taking over a river. And you're probably not going to win. Hmm. The West African Federation. Malaya, please stop it. Please stop attacking. Please, please, please. It's not worth it. How much are we still training? The army, the navy's not doing anything. Ah, it's the, oh, the air force. Decryption's good. Let's grab some more research speed first. Oh, wait. We're not getting that much more fuel. Oh, look at that. Um, Saudi Arabia. Uh, the Republic of Venezuela. Oh, we have no civvies, do we? Death of Wiseman? Yeah, that makes sense. We have no civvies. God dang it. Remember today. If you're worried about that, please go ahead. We will remember them. Stevenson elected as president. Well, uh, okay. Here, have more manpower. I'm kind of surprised that you guys aren't attacking us at all, but I guess it is what it is. And um, these guys are getting weaker and weaker and weaker, but still. And the shooting down our planes is too, as well. Um, is there anything we could throw over here? Maybe logistics. Um, this is looking so bad. How much manpower do they have? Let's let's take a look. So, if Chin Peng, huh? So, they're out of manpower. Any damage you do, they cannot recuperate. So, Death of Wojciechowski, the Bank of England, one of the major talking points of the Mosley government, is the Bank of England. One of, Mos uh, what, his, one of his campaign promises was the nationalization of the Bank of England as part of Mosley hoping for stronger government controls on Britain's money supply. This reform may polarize the opposition, but they'll show that Mosley wishes to repaint Britain completely. Should we go through this? No, we shouldn't. Question of the Lords. Complete abolition. Mosley Commons. Assembly elections. I like this one. The upper assembly, because you get so much more political power. Um what's what's complete abolition? Pay away for true democracy. It sounds like we can get cooed. I don't want to get cooed, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to play Mosley twice then. I wanna say we wanna get this one. Question of Lords. You know what? Let's nationalize the bank. Let's nationalize it. Let's do something about that. And question of the Lords. Mosley has made it clear that he dislikes the House of Lords and sees them as a political barrier both for his reforms and the model par parliament he wishes to create. We are faced with three options. Abolish the Lords, keep the Lords, or replace them with the Upper Assembly. 
Trujillo. Oh, Vlasov. Okay, well, good job, Vlasov. Yeah, any damage you do, they cannot get back. And this guy's actually getting some experience, which is pretty nice. Until they start attacking, though. Which would be quite unfortunate. Oh, we actually won. Look at that. No, go in, go in, go in, go in. Stop him. Oh, you're not going to be able to stop him, are you? Oh, that's big sadness hours. But not really, because you go right there. And you encircle them. Big win for us. The Queen's first Christmas message. If you like to do about that, please go ahead. Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. What a darling. There you go. Oh, actually, that's bad. You know what? You start attacking here. These guys will die eventually. Well, I hope. Uh, we'll see about that. Uh, let's go back over here and grab some of this stuff as well. Keep them. Schnikes. Schnikes. Don't lose the battle. Oh, that's so bad. They actually might lose. Don't lose. Don't lose. Don't lose. Please don't lose. Please don't lose. Okay, that's good. Woo, baby boy. I thought they would have, like, capitulated, but they still have Johor as a... They went back. God dang it. Trying to trust the AI in doing this is just a bad idea all around, man. It's just a bad idea. Better abolish the income tax. Oh, go up, go up, boys. And the question of the lords. Yes, 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 please. Three is left, two, one, nothing. Yes, please. The future of the income tax. Another uh, <clears throat> talk, popular talking point for Mosley's government is the abolition of income tax. Mosley believes that people should be taxed based on what they buy or sell. Although the reform will be popular with the lower classes, this will obviously reduce the amount of revenue we make for the government. It could be seen yet as another radical reform. Um, I'm going to say... Oh, I kind of don't mind that one. We do lose consumer goods. Quite a bit of consumer goods. We get more daily political power, though. Fascism change. Uh, we're quite fascist here, actually. We're going to keep it. Because then we're going to do the upper house. You know, I'd like to do this one. Ooh, the rally. Ooh, that looks really good. The speech. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Ah, Stevenson inaugurated. Good job, Stevenson. Oh, what is this? Yes. We, we'll go with the ceasefire. Don't don't question that we're actually fighting someone else. Oh, what a catastrophe. Not good. Not bad, not bad. We're still holding out. Let's move over. And what happened here? Oh, did they actually peace out? That's kind of cool. Turkestan dissolved. Huh, that's a that's a giant mess, I'll be honest. It's a massive mess. Uh, I do want to attack here. I kind of don't think we will win, but I, I've been wrong. Be I've been wrong before. Wait. Oh, the era in British history ended with the resignation of Clement Attlee. Yeah. Uh, Hugh Geitzko is there now to be Mr. Adley's successor. Interesting development. Um, I think you still exist here, don't you, Mr. Mosley? Um, what's the meaning of this? <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me. Can someone tell me the meaning? Hello. Hey, can we get some more of this off, please? Yes, please. Hey, if we can win and take out Kota Baru, that'd be great. That'd be thumbs up from us. How much people do get every single day? 0.92? I do want to go upper assembly right now. The upper assembly has been impl implemented. Now people may gaze and participate in a true democratic system where doctors can elect a health minister, teachers can elect an education minister, and the people may choose who truly represents their interests, such as Oswald Mosley. Everyone loves Mosley, Mr. Mustache. Oh, maybe you should have a field marshal here too. Uh, there you go. You should do slightly more damage now. Montgomery? Um, throw plan, right? Cool. Come on, beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. They don't deserve life. I'm not going to do force attack, though. And army interoperability, which is very good. And support companies. Now, I've got to see how what is going to happen to Germany. Um, yeah. Oh, the House of Lords' fate. The House of Lords have been a thorn in Mosley's side for far too long. Mosley's met with three options for deciding the Lord's fate. The first option is to leave them alone. However, this will affect our image and efficiency rule. The second is to reform the House into Mosley's model parliament, where doctors elect a health minister, teachers elect an education minister, etc. Although this may bode well with the people and could be very popular, this will annoy many conservatives and the political elite. The last option is to completely abolish the House of Lords again, while it could be popular with the working class and average man. This will deeply annoy our opposition could have severe consequences. Leave the Lords be. The upper assembly. Replace them with a new model. New model, everyone. We love models here. Assembly elections. Now that we've successfully reformed the House of Lords, the first elections for the British Upper Assembly must be held, and with our reformed voting system, we can make sure that our candidates gain the upper hand in these newest elections. Very nice. I'd love to go straight there, but we cannot. Uh, oh, Queen Mary's dead. Oh. Whoa. 
uh, Britain mourns the passing of a very great and gracious lady. Her queen, her majesty, Queen Mary, has passed away peacefully in her sleep at Marlborough House. Is that like the tobacco company in America? Marlborough? Huh. Maybe not. Huh. The mother and grandmother of sovereigns, Queen Mary lived through six reigns in her lifetime. Her husband and two of her sons became king. And our granddaughter is our queen. This is how we will remember her. A proud, charming queen, a lady of vigor to the last. So kindly and dignified a queen, Britain mourns. As we are killing the communists. Exactly what the queen would have wanted. The Slavic Revolt. Ah, the grand fear of big old daddy Hitler. You know, hold for now, hold for now, because if you get attacked, you will die there. That's the Third Spanish Republic, yes, because the first two were so successful. Uh, keep getting more of this stuff. I like this stuff. I don't know why. I just, I like it. I enjoy it. Help them out. Oh, don't let them leave. Do not let them leave there. It will be no escaping. No, no, no. Communists, get the boot. Okay, your leader literally abandoned you. What the heck? Well, okay, so those guys came back. That's okay. Kind of hang out for now. Do not give up. Oh, man. Actually, are they attacking? Oh, that's not good. Um, How's this battle going? I can't see how bad... I, I, mm. uh, even if we don't move, we have a port there, so we don't we don't have to move. Laurel and Hardy arrive for the UK tour. Ah, for 30 years, these are the two of the best-known funny men in films, have arriving in the UK for performing a tour. For Stan Laurel, he was born in Ulverston. This is a return to his country of his birth. It's been a while since their last film of the fall spring of 46. Yet this has not stopped trouble and laughter following them to every stage they step on. It's no news that this year has been a rather dismal one for Britain. The rival Stan Ollie provide a hilarity for us all. It was another nice mess you've gotten me into. Very cool. Can you kill these guys off yet? Oh, don't lose, baby. Come on, baby girl, don't lose. Serbian state. Oh, very cool. Serbian Civil War. I don't know. I think I've played the Serbians once. I think I live streamed that once. It's very fun to play. Very fun. War economy would be very nice. Ah, uh, engineer is very bueno. Recon. Bosnia declares independence. God, the ba Balkans just sound so explosive, man. Ah, Deutschland. Wow, this looks like it sucks hard. Hungary's on a two front war. That, or really one massive front, one front war. Yeah, I definitely don't. Oh, the, hello. Ah, uh, I need to play with Romania sometime, too. That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, my gosh. What happened here? Uh, the Balkans are just exploding. Holy crap. Ah, Banat. I think Dunhammer Gaming played Banat. Ah, yes, Mr. Sepp. Looks good up in Führer. Ah, good. Are they all dead? Uh, almost. Almost. All right, Ken Kenneth, you're, you've lost a lot of guys. You've lost a lot of equipment, man. I'll be honest. The spy story on all stories. A dry martini. One in a deep champagne goblet. If you like, like to read about that, please go right ahead. The speech. I want. I got to do the rally. That looks so cool. It's time to address the people up close. The streets of Birmingham shall host a rally in our name. Only then can we demonstrate the greatness of our reforms. Uh, or is it best to address the people from afar? A strong message would be sent that we have created a strong social government and we brought in fresh reforms to invigorate the British people. I kind of like the rally, but it sounds like we're going to get assassinated. I'll be honest. It really sounds like we're going to get assassinated. I don't. I personally don't want to get assassinated, but we'll see what happens. Oh, Sesquart, Sesinquart, declare uh, new, new daddy. Okay. We have more factories to send. Yes, please. I want some fuel, please. America, we're buddies for now. Don't mind the fascist leader. <laughs> there you go, big boys. There you go. This, oh wow, Indonesia's doing well for itself. Great power designs. Ah, Germany is falling apart. Yes, yes. Sehr gut. The gems of war, the Burger Creek starts. Ah, uh, you know you have a good mile when there's a Burger Creek. A war over medium rare versus well done. Oh boy. Sign us up. I'm getting hungry thinking about that. Oh man, oh man. Hungarian Revolution, of course, of course. Hung Hungarian democracy delayed. A social democratic dictatorship. It it happens from time to time in Hungary. Do we win? <gasps> we won! Yes, my friends, we've won. Hold your booties. Now, who can we help out? I don't know. Britain stands victorious in Malaya. The sun still shines over the realm. This is a mess. Now, America must be talking to us right now and figuring out whether we want to help them out, but Germania doesn't look very good. All right, everyone, we had the Toronto Accord Council emergency meeting. With a recent outbreak of civil war in Germany sending shockwaves around the world, leaders of the Toronto Accord nations are meeting at a special emergency meeting in Toronto to discuss the situation in a semi-secret meeting. In it, the alliance will debate possible intervention and other actions to be taken. The U.S. delegates have already given its opinions, and now it's time for the British delegation to speak. We're not ready yet, but we must prepare. Immediate intervention? 
Um, does not intervene. Well, I guess we go in. Um, I'll be honest here. Like, I was looking at this, and actually, someone on my Discord server, one of my helpers, actually told me this one pretty much will do uh, what it says and what I think it'll do. So we are going now with a speech this time. So we love speeches, and because I don't like this thing about Thousand Week Reich, you cannot cancel folks manually, which I really don't like. That's probably one. Of, that's probably one of the things I really don't like about the mod. But I had basically replayed this, and uh, yeah, we're still in Malaysia for now, or Malaysia, M Malay. Oh. Oh, there goes America. They probably honestly don't need our help, and I'm more interested in this right now, so... Fanatic German Defense. Uh, what else do we have around here? Anything else? It's 53, of course. Um, oh yeah, I forgot about doing some of this stuff. Radicalized by the Nazi ideology, millions of Germans are preparing to fight to the death to defend the Fatherland from an invasions. Those will certainly not be an easy fight, and already there are memories of the invasion of Japan. More men, women, and children fought for their emperor with whatever weapons they could find. Clinging onto every inch of territory with tooth and nail, as thousands of kamikaze pilots targeted the invasion fleet. There's little doubt in the minds of the TA planners that this war will be similar. Good luck to a man! We're not at war with them, because they're still trying to fish this up, which is fine. Australia, oh. And that's time to white piece for now. It is what it is, but I want to finish this up. Can we please hurry this up? We have war to go to. Um, German compromise? Unexpected. All right. What is this? Back the war against Germany? Yeah. Unification of Greater Romania. Cool. And they just keep going to war with other people. Revolution in Baghdad. We've already seen some of this, but yeah, I, I basically had to redo this, which is fine. And we won. Great. Great, 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 great. And we have held the speech, my friends. If that's the case, we're going to come back over here and do begin our recovery. The war brought about a general deal of destruction of economic nodes of our country. If we do not devise some sort of plan to repair the damage that's been done, Britain will cease to be a significant economic power, and her people will suffer for it. Which is very, very true. Now, we got to stop training our guys, which I forgot to do earlier off screen, but whatever. Time to go home, everyone. As well as you guys, too. Good luck trying to find a base to repair in. Um, the t TV address. It is best to address the people from afar. A strong message will be sent that we have created a strong social government, and we've brought in fresh reforms to invigorate the British people. To the people, my friends. To the people. The Slovak Spring, another nation falls. Oh boy. Britain stands victorious in Malaya. Yes, we've just owned that one before. Not too bad. Oswald Mosley, Mr. Dudist. Ah, uh, what is this? Nothing here. Okay. Um, we definitely need more fuel. Holy crap. We only have one more thing to grab from here, so we'll get it from America. Thank you, America. Very appreciated, appreciative of your oil. Uh, where are planes? Cool. Uh, well, we've got all sorts of planes here. You guys stop training for now. Hope this is a lot of fuel. UN backs war on Germany. A United Nations resolution backing the war against Germany for humanitarian reasons has passed. We now fight with the backing of all of UN. The anti-Nazi war, yeah. This is very weird. We're playing with Mosley here, and we're attacking these guys, so... Yeah, why not? Okay, let's go in. I wonder if they could invade us. That'd be kind of cool if they could. There you go. Good luck, guys. We're not going to have any fuel at all, are we? But that's okay. Oh, and you're doing stuff. Order sword in Denmark. Cool. They never stood a chance. Oh, please don't attack my convoys. Please, please, please. Ah, thank you, America. Thank you very much. Leave it. Oh! Leaving the Toronto Accord. Though the country remains divided, Prime Minister Mosley has met an unexpected amount of success in pushing through his radical domestic reforms until now, however. His ideas on foreign policy have not materialized due to the urgency of stabilizing the domestic situation now. This can, is, this can begin to change. Mosley had long spoken about neutrality in the Cold War between the West and Germany. Though he had m moderated his position and now publicly claims he no longer supports has any support for the Nazi regime. He also says that it is not within Britain's interest to be involved in the conflict. As a result, one of his campa campaign aims was to withdraw from the Toronto Accord Alliance. Now, with the other problems at home mostly dealt with, he can put his promise into action. With we withdraw. As we're at war with the Germans. What the heck? <laughs> Alright, call our allies in. We're all going in. Well then. Well, well, well. This is awkward. Um, I guess you guys go here and go to Dunkirk, I guess. Gonna be probably really bad naval invasion, I'll be honest, man. But that's okay. That's what we're here for. Good luck, guys. You're all gonna need it. Um, yeah. That's not good. Hey, our soldiers back on. That's good. Are you guys not coming over? Did you guys get hit that hard? Oh, hold on. Maybe it's this thing, too. There you go. Repair as fast as you can. This is very weird. This is very... Uh, sorry, guys. I know you guys wanted us to join the war. And there's a lot of Nazis over there, but... Are the Nazis still killing each other? I thought they peaced out with each other. Yeah? Nope. They didn't peace out. Hey, Speer! Look at that. 
Member of the German United Front. Oh, okay. Oh, it's so similar. It's just kind of like, nah, not today. I do need to play similar sometime. Himmler sounds like a lot of fun. All right. Well, bye bye Toronto Accords. It was fun while it lasted. Um, expert focus. Probably go with limited or closed economy. Honestly, we could really use more stuff here, more fuel and stuff. Um, yeah, that's probably for the best. Close. I don't want to go close, but we're going to do it anyways. We need to save as much resources as possible for now. Oh, oh there we go. We lost it. Well, go figure. Can I actually? I don't think we can rejoin, can we? Sorry, Stevenson. It is what it is. Nothing personal, man. Nothing personal. You run, or the UK leads the Toronto Accords. It only is a word for a British exit. Oh! Are we talking about politics here? Well, that's a lot of days left. Okay, we'll have to wait then. The Montero coup. Well, that's cool. South America? Um. CCF infantry. If that's the case, America probably has this already patrolled, right? Let's go home and save the fuel that we have currently for now. Let's save all the fuel that we have right now. Because we're going to need it as we begin our recovery. <laughs> Hungarian Revolution, a new republic. Follow the TV address. With the success of these reforms and policies, Mosley must now address the people. Either, <clears throat> oh, they're refunded. Either down the street or on the streets of Birmingham, close to the people. Oh, let me guess. They're seeking our stuff. God dang it. If that's the case, get at least one of these guys going here. There you go. You can come back. Yes. If you need to repair, just go and repair, but still. Well, this is definitely not how I wanted things to go, but... Hey, by doing this, we get better consumer goods, which means we get some civvies back, which means we can... Not trade through here, for the love of God. Please stop trading through here. Please trade through somewhere else. And uh, the Americans... Ah, uh, how are the Americans going to get over here now? Maybe through Iceland. Is it? Yeah, maybe through Iceland and these, this island over here. I might have just screwed out the... Screwed out. Screwed the uh, Americans for intervening. Because I know they love inv invading. We all know they love invading, so... I, I, I said stop trading here. I literally said stop trading here. And they kill tra oh, blah, blah, blah. oh, Canada leaves the Commonwealth. Said in the actions of our government and exit, our exit from the TA as a gross concerns. Canada has decided to officially leave the Commonwealth of Nations. What a bunch of traitors. Are you guys ready yet? Where are you guys? Why are you, where? You're not even at home. Oh my goodness. No wonder. Yep, this is definitely not how I envisioned uh, a Mosley campaign to go right now, but whatever. We've got to wait a few more a few more weeks. About 84 days for that to get done? Jesus. Nice job, guys. Nice job. What if we just went? Just go. Screw these guys. They're taking too long. All right. And we've hopefully done okay. Um, I got some signal companies done. I'll be honest. I don't think we really deserve that. I'm not sure who capitulated these guys. I think some other Germans. So, Germans, here you go. Okay, I, I'm convinced. I'll take Holland then. Okay, you guys, you, you guys don't want it? Oh, well, hold on. What's the score we need for this? Now, oh, we're actually almost there. Eh, is it is it fair? No, but can we take it? Why not? There you go. I'm still navy invading. I don't even care. There you go. Thanks. There you go. Go in. Go in. Pass. Go, 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 go. They weren't even guarding the borders. <sighs> yes. Very good. Go, go, go. Spread out like cancer. Crisis in Poland. Poland collapses again. Oh boy, that's not good. Go, go. We don't believe in planes or fuel. Whatever. Where are you? Seriously, where are you not going? I, su I know supply sucks, but. What do you mean you're not be able to find it? Are you stupid? Guys, please. There are literally ports here. You you can get on the boat. You know how to get on boat, please. Boat go burr. Swiss Revolution, huh? Fine with us. Help him out right there. Oh my god, please. Why do, why do I have to manually do this? Swiss, Swiss ceasefire, that's nice. Hey, begin recovery, that's good. And let's get rid of the unstable government. And that is what? Economic recovery, fanatical German defense, unprepared armed forces. Yeah, that's kind of true. It's alright, we lost attack and defense, that's not good. Upper assembly's really nice though, I like that one. Get a lot more PP. Um, yeah, we need 25% more stability, more political power gain, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. At this point, I need everyone to come over here as fast as possible. You guys just kind of hold for now. And do that. There you go. Hold the line, buckos. Buckaroons. 
Drop tanks are still too expensive. Air Doctrine? Um, we use a lot of cats, I think, right? I honestly can't remember. Help him out, help him out. But she needs... Okay, maybe... Oh, this is really bad then. Alright, that's a kiss. Okay, 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 okay. This might have been a bad idea. Their armors. Oh, hold on. Let's throw these guys in there then. You want armor? We'll give it your armor. Oh, well, I don't think we deserve the SS, so. Give it all pretty much to Germany. It's a few tiles. There you go. Uh, that's a lot. You know what? I'll take this stuff first. You know what? I took this area. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I don't care. There you can have the rest. All right. You're literally not allowed to... Oh, crap. Well, that's not good. It's really not good. Uh, yeah, not bueno. Not really bueno, I'm not gonna lie. Well, there's a revolution. Fair troops are nice. I don't care if it's ahead of time, I really don't. Alright, these guys are gonna die, that's unfortunate. Um. Well, sending you guys in was the dumbest mistake. Yep, this is definitely not how I want a mosey to go. Definitely, definitely, definitely not. So, why are we suffering from supply issues? Is it just a state? Because I'm trying to get... Leave! Leave! Why are you still here? There's something There's something wrong here. Yeah, I, I guess I told him to do this. But there should still be a go over here, right? Ah, so that's what the thing was. This stupid thing right here. Blocked? Yeah, I don't think so, man. I really don't think so. Oh, they're dead. Uh, the tanks are here, though. That's nice. Force defense. Hold on, how are, they, how are they beating us on force defense? They can't pierce us, can they? Well, this sucks. Okay, well, Albert Spear is doing extremely well. I'm going to have to refigure this, because this is not going to go so well now that we've lost all our ports. Yeah, no, getting the Americans, we need the Americans in here, so I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, everyone, so I've gone back and not gotten involved in the war against the uh, Germans, and actually I don't think the Americans really got involved with them either. They, they've not formed their little faction back, so I apologize about that. Uh, regarding earlier, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, yeah, this, this might end up being very screwy for us in the campaign, but oh well, I mean, I mean, I guess I made a mistake. I didn't realize that this actually is a result of us intervening immediately. So, hey, the more you know. Besides, it doesn't make any sense for us to really intervene since we're becoming very, very isolationist here, so it is what it is. And the Ukrainian Civil War, America will find a way to get involved, probably, eventually, maybe. We'll see. It's not our place, right? It's not our place for the Germans to kill you. To kill the Germans, right? Cease fire once again. Yeah. Our, the German military is very strong. Very strong nation. Very strong. They should be proud of their strength. But uh, for us right now, no, nah, we're okay. I do wonder how the rest of this campaign is going to turn out, though. With us not getting involved. Maybe just us hanging out? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this stuff's all okay. Just not really worth it. Scapa flow is okay. I like the armor, though. Beginner recovery. So, technically, I already went ahead and did this one. The TV address. And so now we're finishing up a sort of the Benelux Revolution. They'll figure out what they're going to do. Um, begin recovery. So National Works Projects versus Nationalization Program versus Privatization. National Works Projects. One of the recovery proposals which has brought been brought forward as a new National Works Program throughout the entire country. By investing in the physical capacities of our economy, we can put Britons back to work and resume long-term growth. Well, that'd be nice, even though I did go down to limited exports, but it is what it is. National debt, huh? Well, we've got to probably pay off that debt, probably. We need to become workshop of the world, though. Oh, wow. Without us taking over this land, they're doing relatively okay against Himmler. Not bad. And I think is it, it's still Speer here, right? It's still Speer. They don't have a lot of manpower compared to Himmler. Himmler's got... I don't know what he's been doing, but he's been making babies like crazy. How does he have 5 million? I mean, yeah, I guess he's on service by requirement, but... Still. And these guys are on service by requirement. You know, von Manstein and the... Eventually, of Eschdott, but... Himmler. I guess he does have the Ruhr, so that makes a lot of sense, but... Like, holy crud. Holy crud. You know, I need to play a similar sometime in the Thousand Week Reich. And make sure I set the game rules so that no one intervenes in the war. I think that'd be good. I, I like how we're still in war economy. Um, even though we're at peace. We could probably use that, but for now I think we'll be okay. Establish democracy. Highly industrialized. Beginner recovery is almost ready to go. Is there really anything here? I mean, that's nice and all, but... There's nothing really here that gives us better consumer goods or... Uh, uh, that stuff is okay. Yeah, this stuff is all just okay. It's not, it's not, in my opinion, it's just not worth it. Beginner recovery. And that was the one about Montenegro. National Works Projects. Ah, oh, Great Smug of London. 
a period of exceptionally cold weather and lack of any wind is a cause of layers of smog to form over London. While smog here is common, the scale is unprecedented. Visibility in many central areas is on the order of a few meters, causing the shutdown of most public transport and events, and thousands are thought to have died from respiratory illnesses. These few days will come to be known as the Great Smog of 40 52. Let's hope it clears soon. Yeah, smog isn't very cool. It's not very good. Not good for the lungs, usually. Not sometimes, maybe, but not usually. 150 is a lot. Um, I'd rather get this one, get more stability, so thank you. Oh, and Himmler's dead. Okay, so that's not really good for the war effort. Hadrian? Hey, 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 oh. Quebec votes for independence. Whoa. Whoa. I have to play Scotland Land sometime. How did you get in? You are way too weird to look like that. Wow. If you like about this, please go ahead. Here's to the future of Panorama and the BBC. State run TV. Wow. Canada is extremely socialist. That's a lot more socialist than I thought they would be. Wow. And Rick of Stevenson, Mr. Balding Man, a provision Oblast of Moscow, and anything else we can do here that I really care about. Uh, war propaganda wouldn't be bad. I guess we could do that one. What else am I going to spend the PP on, right? I was just looking. Oh. Well, America finds a way. Yep, and I think, yep, they're still going to get involved. This is weird with us not doing anything here. This is very weird. Can I see any volunteers, actually? Oh, that sucks. Um, one of the following must be true. Wow. They're very liberal. Or, I guess, liberal conservative. Huh. Invite Portugal. Can you invite us, guys? Well, we would like to be invited again. But, I guess not. Expand Burns Industry? I like that one next. We were once the workshop of the world, and eclipsing all other nations in the practice of the physical production, but have lost that coveted spot. By investing in our industrial sector, we can once again strive to increase our standing in that field. Probably a good thing to do. Oh, what is this one? Post-colonial foreign policy. Oh, my goodness. There goes the general government. Goodbye, general government. I know some people want me to play in Poland in this mod, but we'll get there eventually. Like, I don't think I just, at the time of recording, I don't think there's a general rush for us to get that done or play as them, just because I don't know when the next update is for the Thousand Week Reich. I know they're going to try to rework Russia, but I'm not sure when that is going to exactly come out, so. I guess we'll wait and see. Field hospitals are nice. It is 54. I got all this stuff done already. Um, it's a little bit ahead of time, but disperse industry? I guess we could. Because why not? Uh, yeah, Greater Germany's doing quite well. And America's here on the line helping these guys out. Are they in the Toronto Accords? Yes, they are. See, even without us, they'll still do fine. The shoot stuff looks really sad, though. Hans Lammers. Lammers. Baron of Terra sounds like a lot of fun. Ah, oh, spare. Oh, they're out of fuel. Look at that. You guys are out of fuel, and then you guys are well, basically out of fuel. Basically. They have eight factories. A million. Oh, they must be mobilizing more. Maybe. Anything else here? 100 wide range. That's okay. We don't have anything. Really can... Uh, I don't want to hurt a worst part. I don't ever want to do that one. Oh, what is going on here? I guess technically we could do this. I mean, I did throw on something else here. National Works Project, so. To do the slumping economy, the government thought it would be prudent to take a leaf out of Germany's book. In the 30s, the Weimar government has, and then the Nazis succeeded in kickstarting growth through National Works Projects, building new infrastructure across the nation to improve both productive efficiency and reduce unemployment. We will launch a similar program in Britain to get the gears of the workshop rolling again towards prosperity. Very good. And expand Britain's infrastructure. Our economy cannot grow the different elements which constitute it or constitute it are not able to interact with each other. By expanding the size of a nation's various infrastructures, we can circumvent this as well as British Rail and I like this one too. Expand northern industry. The north of England has historically been the industrial heart of our nation, with countless factors producing countless more goods. We must set aside funds to ensure that the north remains the center of industry. But if you enjoyed this little video with good old aging Oswald, Sir Oswald mostly, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new, and check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow as we'll watch the Toronto Courts beat the crap out of all the Germans, and have a good time with Isolationist Mosley. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day!